Hi, this is Bill, and you are on Finest Travel Beat with Angela and Bill. Today we take you to Cozumel, Mexico, and a cruise port call that we did on the Celebrity Ascent a few weeks ago. We booked Paradise Beach Club on our own. In this video, we're going to tell you about Paradise Beach Club, how to get there, whether it is better for you than Mr. Sancho's, and give you a lot of information and tips about getting around Cancun, or should I say Cozumel, Mexico, in general. Thanks for watching. We really appreciate all the support we have gotten on these videos, especially the one we did recently on Mr. Sancho's. We promised we would do a video on Paradise Beach Club. We have been to both locations multiple times and there are similarities and major differences that I'll highlight throughout this video. First of all, for those who have not been to Cozumel, there are three main piers in Cozumel. They're all pretty close to each other, but the one that we stopped in at this cruise was the International Pier, which services Royal Caribbean and Celebrity. We were lucky enough to be on the very first sailing of the Celebrity Ascent on this cruise. There's a video of that up on the channel as well. But we're just going to kind of walk you through the port area for the people that aren't familiar with how to get to the taxi area. This is a fairly large port with a lot of shopping and a lot to do. Of all the piers in Cosmo, this is probably our favorite it really has the most shopping, and it's also got a really nice Margaritaville and a nice Senior Frogs, as well as a really, really great spot to take photos with a ship in the background, which I think we have uh, footage of in a couple of seconds. Now, as I indicated in the beginning of the video, we booked this on our own. We did not use a ship excursion. We've been to Cozumel many times, and we know that the taxis are extremely reliable and there's never an issue getting a taxi there or back even if it's your first time at Cozumel uh, it's very easy to get to any of the uh, beach clubs whether it be Mr. Sancho's or Paradise Beach Club or any of the other options I do highly recommend getting re making reservations in advance these beach clubs do sell out especially when there's a lot of ships in there can be seven or eight ships into Cozumel at various times. So you can book either directly through their website or we book through Viator, which we found fairly reliable. And there's a beautiful Celebrity Ascent. Uh, again, that was the first sailing we were on. It was absolutely amazing ship. To get out to the taxi area, you kind of have to walk around to the left as you're exiting. Walk straight, kind of curve around to the left. And then you'll see the entrance to this building here which has various vendors, uh, be aware that in Mexico, the uh, shopkeepers, and they can be somewhat, I don't want to say aggressive, but they're going to try to get you into all their stores. So if you look in their direction, they're going to be trying to sell you uh, uh, sterling silver or whatever they happen to be having. So just be aware of that, be polite, keep walking, keep your head straight, and there won't be an issue. Here we see a sign that lists the prices of the taxi rides from all of the locations. There is uh, plenty of signage and there is a line to get into the taxi. There's a dispatch will tell you which taxi to get into. And it's similar on the way back from Paradise Beach Club. Now, a couple of things to make you aware of. And this is true of any taxi you get into in any country, including the United States. Even though the, the fare is posted, make sure that when you get in the taxi, you confirm with the taxi driver how much it is. Also, have bills. Tipping, obviously, is appreciated, but have uh, small bills. Don't expect them to make change. Uh, they may not be able to make change, or you may get pesos in return. Now, I generally don't give a lot of prices on things because it doesn't uh, always hold true. As of this recording, it was about $16 for each way for between one and four passengers to go there. If they put more of you in a, a minivan, the pricing will change a little bit. 
but it shouldn't be that much more than uh, 4 or $5 per person to get there if you have four or more people. The Ride to Paradise Beach Club is a fairly short one, 10 to 15 minutes from the International Pier. Uh, one thing I'll note is every time we have done this ride uh, back and forth to any of them, we see rickety scooters with multiple people on them kind of driving all over the road and taking their lives in their hands. If you are in Mexico, do not rent the scooters. Every single cruise line will tell you do not rent the scooters. They may not have brakes. The tires may not be in good shape. And very often the people riding them really don't know what they're doing. So I highly, highly recommend do not rent two-wheel scooters in Mexico or any Caribbean country. And if you do, make sure you have plenty of travel insurance. There's another beach club that we haven't been to. It's called Playa Mia. We may try that out in the future. If you've been to Playa Mia, let us know what your thoughts are in the comments below. And especially if you've been to either Paradise Beach Club or Mr. Sancho's, we'd love to hear your opinion on how Playa Mia compares to those two uh, resorts. One tip that we do is we get up really early and get to either Paradise Beach Club or Mr. Sancho's very early. We like to be among the first off the ship to do that. That way we get our choice of where we want to sit. It's not too crowded. We get plenty of service right away. And uh, we don't have to deal with the crowds that are coming later on as they can get pretty crowded. They have an excellent check-in system. As soon as you get out of your taxi, you're going to go up. You'll be greeted. They'll check and see. Uh, check your tickets. Uh, they'll check it with the list. Uh, in our case, we had a uh, Valia tour, so they had our, uh, our tickets kind of already printed out. They'll also give you wristbands to put on that will indicate that you have the all-inclusive package. Um, I don't think I told you the pricing. The all-inclusive package right now, I believe, runs about $67 per person. It does not include gratuities. But again, this can vary depending on the time of the year, and obviously prices on everything are going up. So check their website or one of your third-party vendors for the pricing. After they check you in, they're going to bring you over to whoever your waiter is going to be for the day. Uh, very, very good service, very friendly. And you see they're putting the wristband on now. He's also going to ask you whether you would like to sit near the beach or near the pool. And if you want a sunnier shot, spot or a shadier spot. Angela and I generally prefer to be by pools. A um, couple things about Cosmel in general. The beaches tend to be very rocky. So definitely bring water shoes if you want to use the beaches in Cozumel. Uh, not our favorite beaches in the world, but... It's nice. Uh, in general, we, we don't really spend a whole lot of time in beaches unless it's uh, one that's very calm. Uh, there's some place like Aruba or certain other places where there's not a lot of waves you're fighting. So we tend to prefer to be by the uh, pool anyway. Now, at the end, we're going to really compare and contrast Mrs. Sancho's versus Paradise Beach Club. But we'll give you one right up front that is a huge, huge decision maker for us which is the pool at Paradise Beach Club is heated. The pool at Mrs. Sancho's or the pools at Mrs. Sancho's are not. Uh, that's a game changer, uh, especially people from the Northeast. You tend to think Mexico is hot year, all year round. Not really true. Uh, January, February can get pretty cool there at times. So having a nice heated pool like they do at Paradise Beach Club is a real winner in our opinion. The service here is absolutely amazing, as is just about every place in uh, Cozumel or Cancun. They walk us around a little bit. Uh, we have been there multiple times, so we kind of knew where everything was. They explain how the food system works. They show you the beach, what's included, and uh, they'll give you a menu and take your drink orders right away or your food orders. Um, we usually start the day off with some quesadillas. Now, don't expect to have top-shelf brandies and top-shelf alcohols. Uh, this is not that type of place. It's more of your frozen mixed drinks, uh, plenty of Tecate beer, which I happen to really like. 
but again, not, uh, you know, it's not a craft brewery. It's a beach bar in Cozumel, Mexico. Before we jumped in the pool, we'll walk you out and show you a little bit of the beach and a little bit of what is around. As you can see, there are uh, huts where you can get massages from the staff there. There's Bali beds that you can also rent. Uh, obviously, the Bali beds and massages are upcharges. They also have the typical uh, beach side things like hair braiding and henna tattoos that you can get as well. And again, those are all additional charges. The use of chairs and umbrellas is uh, included with your own inclusive price. Again, as is unlimited food and unlimited drink. Let me also point out that you must bring towels with you when you go to Paradise Beach Club. They do not provide towels. They are not included. I believe they have them for sale in the gift shop if you forget yours, but bring them from the ship. Also here you can see an inflatable water park. That is an additional charge. Uh, at the time of this video, it was about $18 and includes snorkel equipment, the kayaks, stand-up paddle boards, and the uh, water slides, uh, trampolines, climbing iceberg, and uh, water hammocks. Beach floats out here are included for the additional $18 fun pass. They do have inflatables in the pool, which uh, is for common usage. If you've watched any of our other videos, you know one of the things we like to do is kind of do a walkthrough and show you around the resort. This way you can kind of orient yourself and also get an idea of the size and the layout for yourself. As I do so, we're going to talk to you a little bit about some of the things that you need to bring with you or you should bring with you. Now, as I mentioned, a towel, they don't provide them, so bring a towel from your uh, ship. Also, water shoes, if you're going to be going to the beach, water shoes aren't necessary in the pool. The pool does not have a rocky bottom. Also, uh, sunscreen. Even if you're going in the wintertime, the Mexican sun is very, very strong. Angela and I live in Florida now. We are in the sun all the time. We use sunscreen in Florida. Uh, we went to Cozumel. Now, this was uh, Thanksgiving weekend, so it was a little on the chillier side, but the sun was brutal. Even for people that live in Florida, the sun is much stronger in Mexico than it is there. As you can see here, for those of you that would prefer to watch a little bit of television, you can uh, go to their beach bar right here. Uh, plenty of places to sit, great service, a couple of TVs. Expect to watch a lot of cricket and soccer if you are going to Mexico. Now, we kind of walked down the beach a little bit. There's a little, there's a little gift shop near there. It had some tchotchkes in it. The main gift shop is up by the uh, entrance. I'll show you a little bit of that at the end of the video. But as you can see, we're walking through a little pathway now. And that brings us back to the side of the pool right there. Now, again, you'll notice because we got there early, we had our choice of places where we could sit um, as the day goes on, it gets much more crowded. Never overwhelming, but more crowded. Uh, in fact, in January, we were here on a vlogger cruise with uh, some of the other top YouTube uh, vloggers, and they rented the whole place out, and it got pretty crowded. There was about 800 people there, but it still wasn't uh, bad at all, and service was still great. This part here was taken a little bit later. Just kind of wanted to show you uh, what the crowds looked like as it got a little bit later into the day. Again, there were a lot of ships in this weekend, but uh, never overwhelming there. Uh, that hut straight ahead back there, that's where the bathrooms are. Bathrooms were clean and well-maintained. The was a communal sink outside, which was kind of interesting. But again, uh, not a problem at all. Plenty of places to lay out uh, right by the water there. And underneath that palapa there is another bar, uh, kind of the main bar as you're walking in. A uh, couple of stools there. Generally, it's more of a walk up and grab your drink thing. Honestly, there's really not much necessity in going up to the bars because the service is outstanding. Uh, also, along the lines to bring with you, bring singles, bring fives, bring some money to tip the servers. Uh, we generally tip at the end of the day. 
and uh, they're very appreciative. They work very, very hard. And uh, again, the service is absolutely fantastic here. A couple of other things that all lockers available to rent. We generally don't. Um, we don't bring a lot with us. We bring a phone, uh, a credit card that's got uh, not tied to our bank account or anything major that if it was to get compromised, it's really not the end of the world. And uh, also, obviously, sunscreen and things like that. We keep them uh, by our chair, and we've never had any issue here. It's, uh, it's pretty secure. Before we share our final thoughts on Paradise Beach Club and how it compares to Mr. Sancho's, we'd ask you to hit that like button if you're getting value out of this video, and also consider subscribing. It's free and lets YouTube know that they should be showing our videos to more people. You'll also get notified when we publish new videos. All right, one more thing. They do have a pharmacy at Paradise Beach Club, as they do in almost every place in Mexico. They sell all kinds of antibiotics, Viagra. They even had Ozempic there. Uh, personally, I would never risk buying God knows what from Mexico and bringing it into the United States. But that's entirely up to you. And also right here you can see is the gift shop. Now, as I said, Angela and I have been to Mexico many, many times, and we have been to both Paradise Beach Club and Mrs. Sancho's on multiple occasions. While they're similar in that they are all-inclusive, that they include all of the food and drinks, they have pools and beaches, there are some major key differences that you should be aware of. Probably the biggest difference is that Mr. Sancho's is definitely a livelier and more of a loud party atmosphere than Paradise Beach Club is. Now, Paradise Beach Club does have music, and it gets, uh, they have a DJ, and it gets fun in the afternoons, but Mrs. Sancho's is definitely a little bit more, I don't want to use the term off the hook, but definitely a, uh, a rowdier, more uh, fun crowd than you would have at Paradise Beach Club. Without any of the negative connotations, if I was going to put it in terms of cruise lines, I would say Mrs. Sancho's is more of a carnival vibe, and Paradise Beach Club is more of a Royal Caribbean vibe. Now, that's not to say that it's, uh, you know, there's any drunken rowdiness or anything like that. It's just much more lively at Mr. Sancho's. Mr. Sancho's is also a little bit larger. They have a couple of pools. Uh, they have to have a quieter pool. They have a louder pool. A little bit more going on, a little bit more exciting. Paradise Beach Club is definitely a little more on the relaxing side. Food is pretty close. Uh, we would give an edge to Mrs. Sancho's over Paradise Beach Club. Uh, the times we've been there, the menu at Mrs. Sancho's is a little more extensive. But for us, the main decision maker is going to be the heated pool. In the winter months, we're choosing Paradise Beach Club. In the summer months, we're choosing Mr. Sancho's. If you haven't checked out our video on Mr. Sancho's, uh, it should be on your screen now. But uh, subscribe to the channel and look up the video we did. Uh, it's gotten a lot of positive response, and we hope you're enjoying these videos. Taxis back to the pier are never a problem. We got one, and again, about a 10 to 15 minute ride. However, we do leave ourselves a good hour beforehand. Uh, we like to get up there and uh, take the peer runner videos. We have a couple of those on the channel as well for fans of that. Again, thank you so much for watching. The support has been absolutely overwhelming. Angela and I, it means the world to us. Thank you again. And until next time, come join us on our next adventure. Bye-bye, everybody.